Isn't it always the nosiest neighbors have the lowest fences? So when you're standing on this customer's deck, you just look straight over into the neighbor's windows or they look straight over into you, what you're doing. So we're gonna fix all that. Hey, it's Lee again. We're over here at uh, one of our customers' houses and they have a shorter fence and a higher deck. And from their deck, you can see right into the neighbor's window, which is making it kind of difficult. So we want to make sure that they have a nice cover, so we decide on bamboo. We don't want a plant that's going to come way out into the yard. You can see we've already started here. What we're doing is we're taking uh, 2 by 12s and 4 by 4 pressure-treated lumber, putting together a short little box. It's only a foot wide by a foot high, and this isn't going to take up too much space. And what's pretty nice is this uh, Fargesia nitida is uh, blue fountain bamboo. It's really nice because it's a clumping style, but it doesn't, it's not such an aggressive grower, but it's a smaller stem, it's not very tall, and it has a larger leaf. So it'll get about 15 feet tall, and it won't have uh, such a huge stem that it's gonna bulge out whatever you put it into. So that's what's pretty nice about this. So all we've done is we put these in place where we want them along the fence. We've leveled them and made sure that they're not rocking and they're just perfectly level. Then we're gonna layer the inside with some landscape fabric. And an easy way to do that is just to measure over about 16 inches or so and then roll out the landscape fabric the rest of the way. Just so it's pretty much the size. This isn't working very well for me, all right? So we'll get that over here. We'll cut off that end about 16 inches outside. Then we're gonna just figure out how high we want it to be. And I think just a few inches from the top is fine. Just like this. I'm gonna staple this in place. The higher you staple on your mat, the easier it will be uh, to keep it to keep it in place while you're filling with dirt. So next we're gonna go through and make sure that our landscape fabric is all put in place because if you threw dirt in here it would just put it wherever it wanted to. And as we go through and get the level that we want, do that all the way to the other side. And once I get to the other side, obviously we're gonna cut it off once we get here, but in the meantime, to start this, you really only need two staples. So I'm just going to pull this pretty tight along the back side and get it about the same height and then put one more staple in. So now we'll set our plants in where we're going to go, however many we're going to put across. This is an eight foot box, so I would recommend probably five plants per box one on each end and then three in the middle. And that works good for even larger boxes, but we wanted to already start screening the view right away. So we're gonna use fully mature bare rooted bamboo, which is a really good way to get it because it travels a lot lighter that way. In the buckets, it's three times as heavy. So anyway, we'll update you once we start planting, get you guys see it, something else. So last time we left off, we were just filling this last box and uh, getting it all set up with with the fabric. Now that the fabric's already in, we've put in the soil. First put in a short, short layer of soil, just a couple of shovelfuls will do. And then put your root system right on top of that and spread the soil around it. And at the very end, we just clean cut the very out, top edge of all of our fabric and then filled it with water and rinse it off. And that's the finished product. And you can see now, um, if we took a step back, you can't even see into the neighbor's houses anymore. And I'm 6'4", so it makes a difference that you can see really easily right into the windows. But now that we have the bamboo in place, as this fills in, it won't be allowed to encroach on the yard and it'll be nice thick canopy right in front of the windows. So this is a good way to go. And if you guys get a chance, something to consider if you have a small space and you really want to block off the neighbors, because in some places you could only have a six foot fence but you can have as tall a plants as you want. Thanks a lot.